Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another brand new episode. And as usual, we're going to create a very simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to share two cool brushes and a color lot. So I'm very excited for this tutorial. So if you love designing and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And there are a lot to cover. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. all right so here we are in photoshop and first thing first let's create an artboard and for that i'm going to press ctrl and n and i'm going for four by five again same thing resolution is 300 color mode to rgb bitrate to eight and let's keep everything as default and let's create on let's click on create and then right after that let's uh, create a solid so let's go over here let's go for a kind of little off-white something like that and then let's create another solid and I'm going for kind of uh, this color and let's click on OK. And then let's drag and drop uh, this player image right over here. Control T. Let's make it a little bigger. And then yep, maybe something like this size and let's keep it maybe somewhere over here. And let's create a eclipse and holding shift let's create a circle and let's keep it under this layer and here we go and let's create a gradient overlay yep and i'm going for kind of uh, yellow and then dark orange and let's click on ok let's create a layer max for this layer and then let's keep this player image inside a group Control g and let's rename it as a image folder and then let's create a layer max for this one too and for this one let's remove the stroke we don't need a stroke anymore and let's click on this layer max go to brush and i'm going for uh yeah let's see yeah let's go for yeah, let's go for this press. Let's add a rotation. Maybe some more. Yep, something like that. Let's keep this eclipse with black color. And let's uh, get them. Let's get it back. Yep, just to add. And let's go yep just like so and let's create do the same thing for this one let's click create a layer max again fill it with black and let's get the parts back here we go like so and let's go for another brush Now let's go for this one again add a few rotation maybe some more yep just like that let's go for black color let's edit some of these parts maybe let's add a little more rotation somewhere around that and let's do the same thing for this eclipse some strokes right around here and let's rebuild some of these parts back and let's go for another brush let's see let's go for this one let's add a little rotation yep and let's erase so I'm just uh, adding some patterns uh, just to uh, add some variations so yeah you can just play around with it and let's go for another brush yep this one let's add some rotation 
and let's yep and let's cre click on that image holder and then again same thing let's create click on that layer max go let's use for black color and let's remove uh, let's erase some of these parts let's go for another brush let's see let's go for this one again let's add some rotation All right, now let's uh, uh, do a color correction. So go over here, click on that player image, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And uh, let's uh, dial down the highlights. Let's increase the shadows. Uh, let's increase the clarity. Let's increase the texture. Maybe increase exposure a little bit. Let's go on detail tab, increase the noise reduction add some color noise reduction too and on the basic tab let's increase the highlights a little more and let's drop down the vibrance maybe somewhere around here and let's click on okay and uh, let's create a one more layer go to brush and i'm going to add some clouds so let's go for a cloud brush so here we go mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's go for this one. Let's add some clouds right over here. Maybe some over here too. All right, maybe let's uh, add eraser. Let's erase some of these parts. Let's go for a soft brush or maybe just using the cloud brush. Let's erase some of these clouds from here. Yep. And then let's go over here, add a new lookup and from here click on load. Now I'm going to use this Cinelet. So select this one and click on load. Here we go. Let's keep it all the way to the top and then let's drag and drop another image right over here let's keep it under under this layer Control t let's make it a little bigger and let's change the blending more to soft light Select the layer, press Ctrl and U. Let's drop down the saturation to minus 100. And let's add a text. So click over here. And then let's add another text. Let's change the font to this one. Ctrl and T. Let's keep it. Let's make it a little bigger and let's keep it right over here that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and I'll see you on next video. You guys take care and be creative. Bye-bye.